Hello everyone, I'm Anton64. And I'm Tanner of the North. And welcome to another Hellfire Comms indie game playthrough. Now, we were scheduled to cover Coffee Talk next after Sidara Wild Hearts, but uh, I got in a bit of an Undertale-ish mood the other day, so I was like, you know what, we'll do this. And uh, come today, when I'm setting up, I find out that it's only the fifth year anniversary of the bloody thing, so the timing could not be more apt, really. Let's go ahead and get things started, and Tanner and I will give you a little bit of a lowdown of what Undertale is all about. Now, sadly, neither of us are going in blind here this time, like Tanner did with uh, Sayonara Wild Hearts, but this will be a more celebratory sort of playthrough than, you know, an observational one. And it's definitely a game that has been run through a number of times on YouTube by various people, but honestly, it's one of those things that there's so many small great details that over time you forget about it, and I'm sure not a lot of people are playing it right now, so relive it with us on this five-year anniversary of the title. <laughs> Didn't a bunch of information about uh, the next Deltarune episode come out today? Yeah, so uh, today, Toby Fox, for the fifth anniversary of Undertale, basically put out a little bit of a, a rundown on how uh, how Deltarune is going and how the second chapter and third chapter are the progress. He put out all these numbers. Uh, and he also put out a uh, basically a call to arms for other people to message him saying like, Hey, can you do uh, boss battle design? Email me. I may hire you. So, he's really working on, on making it, because uh, unlike unlike that game, you know, uh, this one here was made with pretty much just him. So, as Deltarune came out, he was like, maybe I'll get a few more people on, but uh, <laughs> here we get to see very much an auteur experience. Wasn't the majority of this made in Game Maker, or am I completely taking that out of context? No, the, the engine this game runs is absolutely Game Maker. Well, there we go. We don't need no stinking border. Just making sure all the settings are correct. Are you ready to begin Undertale, Tanner? Aw oh, man, I so am. Uh, what should we name the fallen human? Um, well, it's really up to whatever we want. Uh, we could name him... How about, uh... Let's go with the... Well, no, you can't actually go with the default name. I think it actually tries and, and makes you not do it. But give it a try. Give Frisk a try. I think that's the name that they recommend as the canon name. Okay. Uh, no. I forgot. That makes it hard mode. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, you know what? Just put in, put in Tom. Let's go with that. Fair enough. There's actually a couple, uh, couple Easter eggs you can put on here. Um, naming, trying to name it one of the characters that's already in the game will prevent you from doing so. Um, there's a couple different ones where uh, it'll crash the game if you put in a name that's forbidden. Hmm. Well, at least we had a soft landing after we're tripping and falling down. Yes, falling into this underground world. Oh, oh, door. Oh. Oh. We're not going to voice act all the stuff here, so just enjoy the ambience. Actually, and it also really fits with uh, one of the ideas that the creator had when making this game, which was by leaving the character designs very simple and having stuff like, you know, no voice acting, it made more interpretations for fans to kind of go nuts with uh, with their views of how they believe the characters are. Oh. Okay, so this is the gameplay. You can move back and forth in this little square here. A little bit different from your typical RPG for sure. Okay, right. Give it lots of LV. What is LV, Flowey? Oh, it's love! Love is what our heart needs. Wonderful. I do want love. Like, I kind of crave it, actually. We all need a bit of love. Ah, oh, What a friendly flower. Little white friendliness pellets. Oh, Put some on your cereal and enjoy it in the morning. Okay, I'll get them. 
Oh. Kill or be killed. Subversion? Oh no! Oh, what am I playing? Earthbound over here? <laughs> well, originally, that was uh, definitely an inspiration. <laughs> Did you see Sakurai's uh, picture of the day today? Yes, it was uh, Ness walking around on it with Sans the me costume in the background looking at him. Cheeky bastard. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that flower, but uh, this character right here, Toriel, she's wonderful. Those who think about it a little bit deeper will realize Toriel, like, Tutorial? Ho oh, ho ho! Oh! See, no, that's completely new to me. I never made that connection. I immediately put that together, and yeah, there's a, there's a couple where it just goes right overhead, because, well, it's like, you know, it's there, it's not overt and, and on your head. And it's, it's, there's other characters whose name kind of go with it, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice little one. Determination is a phrase that will appear many times throughout Undertale. Get it memorized. It's the arc word, if you think about it, because it'll keep being brought up in different ways. I'm coming. Huh. Is that a Zelda puzzle on the floor there, Toriel? It certainly looks like one. You kind of just solved the puzzle there for me, honestly. What a good way to describe puzzles. Fusion of distractions and... I love it. The writing is really good if you if uh, you don't know, obviously. Uh, trigger several switches. Level the ones that you need to flip. Oh, cool. Well... That makes it a bit easier for me. Press A to read signs. Oh, I'm winning already. But how could you have read the sign if you don't? Okay. <laughs> it's cool. Don't worry about it. Nice and labeled for us. I think I've got it, Tanner. I did it. You did it! Yeah! More, you say? <clears throat> oh. Oh. Maybe this is the love that I needed all along. In case you haven't noticed, I'm going to be playing dumb for a lot of the game to not spoil the the, the atmosphere of the whole thing. Alright, I'm going to fuck that dummy up. Mm-hmm. Put him in his place. Okay. Wouldn't be an RPG without fights, after all. Alright. Let's go talk to the dummy, which I guess is a fight, if you think about it. Uh, it's like a training, you know, and like a fighting game. So you can fight or you can act. For the purposes of this playthrough, we are going to be going for a true pacifist sort of thing. So we're going to be making sure that as often as we can, we will be acting instead of fighting. So we'll be... Uh, basically doing non-combative stuff to make the opponent give up on fighting, or, you know, accept us and let us pass. Hmm. One second, folks. My uh, in-game audio is a bit loud in my ears. I'm going to turn that down a smidge. There we go. And now we can continue. Yeah. Another puzzle. Get ready. Oh, I'm an expert at this point, mate. Remember, stay on the path. Stay no, I'm off the path! Oh, oh, please don't get mad at us, Mama Goat! Frog it? Well... Uh, let's see... What do you think we should do here, mate? I think let's check him out first, see how he's doing. Life is difficult for this enemy, Oh, Isn't it difficult for us all? <laughs> 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 Gives him a stern look. But yeah, check. Kind of like scan in that regard, really. You can pinpoint weaknesses, see what you need to do and such. It's also very useful for uh, the hints sometimes. If you need to, you know, say you don't know how to proceed with an enemy encounter, you can check them and you might get a little bit of a hint. 
Oh, she really is a bum. Thankfully, it seems the spikes are just for show and they disappear when you walk by them. <laughs> da -da 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 Oh boy, I think it's about to ramp up a notch, Tanner. Mm -hmm. The music's gone. Oh, Jesus. Oh. oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is get getting close to adulting. <laughs> Theme of having to ring the doctors on your own. Oh, no. Oh, that's too real. Don't even say that. <laughs> Oh, this is like taxes. Hang in there, Tom. I'm, I'm trying, mate. I'm filled with determination. <laughs> Stay on target. <laughs> Stay on target. Huh. Weird. Why, why would this column have Toriel's face? I don't know. It's a bit strange, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> she was behind this pillar the whole time and we never knew. Well, it's trying to get you out of the fucking house, really. Like, you're 32, you should really get a, get a life, Tom. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh... I remember chilling in my house while my mum went out to work and whatnot sometimes. I remember when I was allowed to do that and then I tried to boil some milk and nearly set fire to the kitchen and that stopped. Jesus, Tanner. Look, I was trying to make hot chocolate. I didn't know that milk can set on fire. Well, now we know. Oh. I mean, we were literally just gone for a second, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it fits a mom to check up on you immediately. Okay, so all the puzzles haven't been deactivated or detrapped yet, so there's a little bit of uh, danger in these ruins. Thankfully, we're smarter than your average, um, pretty ambiguous child. Alright, what you gotta tell me, froggit? Yeah, you can also beat them into submission. Um, I'm not sure if uh, that deactivates the true pass pacifist route or not. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, and I, as far as I'm aware, there's only a couple where you need to do that. So for the most part, you're gonna be you're gonna be acting on them. It says take one, take a piece of candy. Yes, of course. Monster candy. Heals 10 HP, has a distinct non-licorice flavor. That's good, because I can take or leave licorice candy. Honestly, black licorice is something that I absolutely love. I think it's super delicious, which is good, because no one else likes it, so I can eat all of it. <laughs> there you go, mate. Dum -da -dum. Oh. Oh, bless. Uh, should we console or terrorize it? Let's be nice. Let's console the Whimsome. Well, I did it. One way to do it. <laughs> so yeah, we got random encounters and whatnot. Don't worry too much. It shouldn't matter in the long run. Thankfully, soft leaves are there for us. Bless up. Hello? Cinnamon or butterscotch, Tanner? Uh, large fan of butterscotch myself, or as it's written there, butterscotch. Butterscotch, yeah, same, honestly. Although cinnamon's no slouch. No, it's, it's good, but I think universally I prefer butterscotch. Toriel, I took like two steps there. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you?
Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? <laughs> the writing in this game is very good, I think. Yeah, it definitely straddles the line between being very heartfelt, but also very self-aware. It's nice. It's a good balance. Once you know how to uh, act correctly, you can just speed through monster encounters. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you look, when you encounter the wh Whimsome there, uh, he's already yellow, so you can mercy him right away. Ah, I see. So mercy is the finish action. Yes, it is the one that you use to basically say, Hey, we good here? Alright, sounds good. We don't need to worry about each other. Okay, so I think we have a mirror situation here. Please don't step on the leaves. We won't step on them, but we might fall on them with the entire weight of our body. Here's Froggit. Gonna compliment it. Aww. Aww. Although I do find his, um, eyes on his stomach a bit strange. It's okay. We're good. We got two gold from that as well. Oh, he gave us, uh, gave us some, you know, two cents. Yeah. Useful for whatever we might want to buy with it. Oh boy, here we go. <sighs> gotta remember, gotta remember. You are not helping, mold smell. Oh. Okay. <laughs> to be fair, it is a bundle of mold on the ground. In terms of, you know... How much he cares about anything, he's fine to just spare him immediately. Also, I'm not even sure if it was Sapien. It was just like, flan in the wind. Yeah, he was just kind of undulating and that's about it. And undulation does not denote sentience. Or sapience. You gotta stop doing that. I know. Th I never use the word sapient and always use the word sentient, so that's on me. No, I wasn't talking about that. I was like, I'm trying to do a mirror puzzle and then the enemies, like, pop up to bother me and whatnot. Ah, you used the different version of you. Got it. Yes. They may not be able to understand compliments, but deep down in their mind, I guess, they know. So as we can see, you can get multiple enemies, and you do have to uh, mercy them separately. However, if you actually get them both to be yellow at the same time and hit mercy, you'll mercy them both at once. So it's probably your best idea to, you know, uh, go through their actions and then mercy to finish the battle. Although, by doing it this way, you only have to worry about one single enemy at a time in battle. So there is strategy to mercying another one earlier. It's it's surprisingly deep for a non-combat system. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Rock. I didn't realize you were comfortable where you were. <laughs> yeah, I would like you to go more, please. Directly onto the switch, if possible. <laughs> no. No, that's not what I want. Man, it's like, I've I've not only played this game, but I've watched numerous people play it, like, fully through, multiple times. And even still, there'll be jokes that just, they still hit. God damn it. <laughs> I need you to stay on the Switch! Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Uh... Oh. The mouse hole. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Ooh, gross. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. This entire room is just called Mouse Hole. Well, it's the one defining trait. I love this dude. Definitely a lot of people's favorite character. I think I've done the pretend to be asleep thing before. Oh, definitely. Did you say Z over and over out loud, though? <sighs> Not sure about that, mate. Here comes Napster Bloke. Hmm. Da -da, da -da -da -da. Let's start by checking out what Napster Bloke is all about. 
This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, dang. Well, that's good to know. Ah, uh, ah, uh, he's crying at me. He's crying and the tears become worms. Should be noted, I'm not very good at bullet hell, so <laughs> look forward to the end of the game. Yeah, so uh, if you haven't noticed by now, the basic sort of gameplay is actually straight up a Toho bullet hell. So, <laughs> 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 with humor thrown in, of course. So that is something that, you know, the fact that this game became like, you know, fairly mainstream, at least mainstream enough to be in Smash Bros, which is wild, um, is kind of interesting because it's like, yeah, you... You wouldn't think that a bullet hell game would become mainstream, but this and Nier Automata have come along and been like, yeah, it seems like the West is is ready for bullet hells. Just keep cheering it, I suppose. Oh? You have something for me? Oh. Oh? Yes, yes, I love it! What a talent! Gotta respond. Yep, gotta say, yep, that's pretty Kino. I hope we meet him again. Mm-hmm. What a good boy. Hello? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 7G in this web. Ah, oh. ah! Oh. I'm one sure. Sadly, we do not seem to have enough to place these uh, these web money. Can I trigger something? Hello. We need to encounter a frogget or otherwise. Anything that can give me money. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's two of them! Oh. So I'm gonna compliment the frog here, and then I'm gonna mercy both of them. Mm -hmm. Well, if Wimsom doesn't just leave right now. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh Jesus! So this is the interesting thing, is that the bullet patterns combine. So not only do you have to worry about, you know, what one of them do, sometimes you have to think about the synergy. Now, there's nothing ever in the game that becomes an unwinnable scenario. It's been programmed so that, don't worry, you can always complete it no matter the combination of enemies, but it is something to consider. Ah, oh, a donut. Mm-hmm. Be very useful later. That's for sure. Did you miss it? Spider bakes out down to the right. We did not. Oh. Don't know about the last part. Yeah, yeah, okay, Mr. Frogger. Oh. And <laughs> by pressing B, don't repeat it. Bless. I wonder if that will come up if you do press B. <laughs> we could add some borders, but uh, th this should be displayed properly when it goes on YouTube. And fun fact about this, um, in the PC version, instead he says if you press F4, the game goes full screen. Oh, nice. Because borders were a feature exclusive to the console versions. If it's yellow, you can spare it. Mm-hmm the Undertale version of if it bleeds we can kill it. I was gonna say if it's yellow yet it let it mellow but sure we can go with that too. <sighs> okay Tana whatever you say. Huh. Well we'll figure it out. What's up Toriel? Yeah I can imagine. Um, I don't think many humans ever venture down into the realm of monsters. Most don't, because of course, the mountain that uh, that we fell from, Mount Ebbet, is a reference to Mount Itoi from Mother, which was infamously a, uh, a, a an area in the game so difficult 
that uh, there was enemies that could one-shot you, even if you are at max level. Ah, well, there you go. Mm -hmm. It was literally programmed wrong. Thanks, Nintendo. Hey, there is just one switch. What do you think, mate? I'm gonna say bottom middle. But oh, we got a new friend, Migosp. How's it going, bud? He doesn't care. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, uh, oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah. Look at that dance. <laughs> he doesn't have a care in the world. Bye, dude. He just wanted to be alone and to show us his dance. Ball in. Nice! Oh, there looks like there's something on the top left, too. Let's go have a little looky boo Be that an item or something else? Nope, it's pure evil. It's a Vegetoid! I don't like that! Not monitored by the USDA. Ah, fuck. Like if Veggie Tales begged to be eaten. What should we do, Tanner? I like the dinner option because it reminds me of YouTube poop. Eat your greens. Get the greens, get the greens, get the greens. I got the greens. And he's done! You ate your greens, but that wasn't him, so it's all good. The mind boggles. Oh. Quite intimidating. Uh, a little bit, until you look at him and think he's just, you know, Mike Wazowski. Don't pick on him. Family name, Eyewalker. So this is Luke's Eyewalker. Oh, I get it! Oh, wow! I've never put that together! <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm already having panic, panic attacks over this. I can't even say the phrase panic attack properly. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Uh. Do you think they pick on him because of the eye or because of the fact that his name is a bad Star Wars pun? Mm, who knows, mate? Could be many things. Could be nothing. Could be multiple. That would suck. What you got for me, son? The far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. Well, alright. We know how this works by now. Mm-hmm. Nope, you leave me alone now. Booyah. Like how both times you caught him mid-blink. That's what I do, mate. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Alright, I believe it is behind this thing. Oh, I'm epic when it comes to puzzles, mate. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think we'll eat that monster candy, and then hopefully dodge this and then eat them both. Uh, stay in the corner, stay in the corner. Give me those greens! Why am I so bad at dodging? Give me the green! I don't know if you got it. Seems you did not. Well, let's... Bottom corner it till that green appears. Please leave me alone. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, bless. Uh-huh. Vitamin A is quite good for you. A mysterious smile. I think any smile from a vegetable would be mysterious, personally. Except a pumpkin. They can do that. Oh, I'm just raking in the gold at this point. Very useful in an RPG. If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay. Sounds easy enough to me. 
Booyah. You always gotta stop me, don't you? Yeah, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> Sorry. That's a good idea. Too many of them, too low a health. If you can read this, press the green switch. I recall that one's in the middle there, yeah. That was a complete guess on my part, but uh, Tanner got it. He was absolutely correct. You guys need to leave me alone. Please don't do this to us, and I love the little red legs that pop out the heart who just says, I'm done with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gone. What's over here? Hey, bud. Huh. Yeah, Toriel is pretty intimidating if you take into account she's like a seven foot goat monster. Oh. Also, you know, her being seemingly. She gives the stink eye to people, you know? Not to us, though. I don't know if I should bother equipping that toy knife. Let's go ahead and have a look at it. It's one of those things that you might as well. But honestly, if we're going for the uh, the pacifist route, we really don't have to. But I'd still probably equip it. This tree seed better days. How'd you make it past all those amazing puzzles? Found a way. To be fair, by the end, we were actually fairly low on health. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You know, Tom, when I first looked at you, it, a message came into my mind saying, this kid cannot dodge vegetables worth of shit. And you know what? She was right to think that. Oh. The soundtrack is so wonderful. Yeah, I actually bought the soundtrack before I bought the game. Because I heard just a couple tracks and I immediately went, This is really good. And then after I listened to a lot of them, I'm like, Okay, now to actually play the game and enjoy it in the context. And it's like, oh. This game runs with some wonderful musical theming, for sure. Oh. I mean, it's, it's nice we have a place to stay after, you know, not dying after such a long fall. Oh. I don't think she's a very good cook, Tanner. It's a shame, but it is what it is. It's really dusty. Hmm. Not sure I'm a fan of that. You know that one poem? For sale, baby shoes, never worn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she couldn't decide, so she made both. Well. That's like me as an adult walking through the toy aisle. You know, I'll be like, oh, look at all this cool stuff. Not that I care, because I'm 25 years old. Flower seeds and some broken crayons. It's me! Ah! Oh. You said me, referring to you. That is incorrect. The answer is you. Room under renovations. Hmm. You peek inside. Scandalous! Don't look in Mom's drawers. It's Toriel's sock drawer. You open it to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. Have some of those right behind my house. Dare we read the forbidden tome? Ah, uh, if it's left open, it's literally begging for it. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Ha! Ah! The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. 
Okay, that's enough fart arse in a bat. Let's go see Mom. This is definitely one of those games that has a lot of different things you can click on, and some of the stuff is, you know, just jokes, but some of it is plot and lore relevant. Do you now? That's interesting. Fast forward to Deltarune. Or maybe not even Deltarune, perhaps a bit sooner than that. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Uh, and I think as we go on a bit, once we get later on in the game, we'll definitely discuss a bit of uh, a bit of Deltarune later, because there's some interesting stuff we can talk about with that. You know what, Toriel? Any other time, maybe. Now I'm good. The 60th use will blow your mind. And destroy your dick. <laughs> Toriel, read the room. There's two people in it, and one of us does not like snails. Why, though? Yeah, just, Mom, just tell me how to get out of here, please. Her mouth animation was going crazy there for a second. I was gonna say, like, she's really babbling there. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. What's your favorite brand name chocolate bar? Uh, probably either Snickers or Mars. I'm always down for a good Kit Kat. Yeah, I couldn't finish that. Pies are quite large. Fire magic, ooh. Is that what, what you were attempting when you tried to make that hot chocolate? Sure, let's go with that. Let's go down here, innit? Oh. This doesn't look like the media center man cave basement I expected. Huh. I don't know about you, Tyler, but that sounds like the words of a supervillain to me. Yeah, no. Plus we're in our rebellious teenage years already, so let's say, Screw you, Mom, I do what I want. It's not a phase. Okay, so at least there's history here. Ah. Uh. Asgore doesn't sound that intimidating. I'm sure he's a big fluffykins. The text is in red, though, which means something spooky. Oh. Now I'm good. That sounded like a threat to me. There's no way she'd like, you know make us, you know, stop us with force or anything. She's a good goat mom. Alright, here we go. Oh. Tunes, though. So good. Awkward. I mean, she brought up snails before. Be nice if you could just bring it up again. It's not happening. Oh, jeez. So, how about that local sports team? So it should be said that uh, when this game originally came out, uh, well before it did, when it was on a Kickstarter there, uh, this was the end of the demo for this game. This was, you know, the big finale for a lot of people. 
We will eat the pie. How about finding those safe spots? Wasn't completely safe, but we got there in the end. Ah, uh, uh, no, no. Thousand yard stair, huh? Oh, seems sparing her has made her bullet pattern quite a bit weaker. I suppose we could go back and get another spider donut. We could always, yep. Yep, good, good. That one's pretty easy to dodge, it seems. We will force you to be spared! There you go. More ellipses, Tanner. We're doing it. They're growing, and she's growing weaker. Oh my god. Thankfully, that skipped that phase. Speedrun tactics. Don't like it, Tanner. <laughs> no, no. Ah. Uh. That one only did one HP though that time. I think we may have reached that part of the battle though. Power of determination. No. Yep. I think we might have done it, mate. Uh. It's funny because, well, the main character never changes their expression. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're trying to do! Oh, they're actively moving away from me now. Mm-hmm. The eyebrows raise. There we go. I think we did it. I can't. I've got, I've got to go forward. It's we're gamers, ma'am. We have a duty. Also, you don't have a PS4, and we want to get home to that. Yeah, there is that too. We heard a Death Stranding? It's pretty cool. No, I'm not doing it. Oh, you made Goat Mom sad. She could be sadder. I don't like this anymore. And here we have the very first instance of, oh boy, RPGs can really push through some deep emotions. Love you go, Mom. Hug sprites are very important. Sorry to be a huge anti climaxer, but we need that spider donut. Yeah, it is an item that, if kept, does uh 
do something a bit different. So I actually never went back. I didn't know that you can just go through here now. Oh, well. I wonder if we sleep again, will we get another slice of pie? Huh? I've never seen this. Huh? I've never seen this before. That is very interesting. Oh, I love it! I love the fact that, you know, this game I've not only played but watched playthroughs of, there's still new stuff we can find. Oh, it's so good! I love this game! Okay, so where was the spider bank cell? I think it was a ways back. I think, yeah, it's it's past all of these, uh, these rooms here, which thankfully, the puzzles remain solved. Nothing like a lone time. Look at him go! Ah, there he goes! What moves? So how are we doing for gold? Uh, 27. Nice. We can actually buy a couple even, which will be good because all you need is one, but it's nice to have more. Doo, doo, doo. We have an extended stay in the ruins here, which is always welcome. Because, yeah, when she says don't come back, it literally means it. You don't get to come back. That door shuts on you, so. You may have noticed I'm uh, very easily flustered when it comes to dodging projectiles, so please enjoy the playthrough as much as you can. You know what? It, it provides a bit of a... Uh bit of fun for people to say, ooh, I'm waiting for him to get to this part, you know? Nice. Hmm. Jug of what? Oh, spider cider. Jesus. Delicious. Chunky. Just how I like my orange juice. Not a fan, Tanner. Do you get orange juice with or without the bits? I'm fine either way. I like my orange juice extra pulpy, personally. Well, we, we don't judge here at HFC. Publicly, anyway. You don't. The comments do. All the time. I read them. Huh. <laughs> I'm really glad this game doesn't, uh, tally how often you bump into things. Is there a game that does that? God, I hope not. Oh, that- that would just- that's just direct damage to the soul. Well, looks like it's time to leave the ruins and head out into the big, wide monster world below. I'm sure there'll be a lot of obstacles, but... We have it in us to get through. And if not, oh, that's what retakes are for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what the save file system is for. This game loves its retakes. Three different floor tile colours. Four, even. Oh. There it is. The beginning. Oh. Well, technically no, because I was able to get out of that fight without landing a single blow. We killed her with kindness! Yeah, I'm feeling pretty poggers right now, honestly. Hmm. Interesting question, Flower. Nah, we won't, though, still. I ain't saying nothing.
Spooky. Not a fan. Well, that was the start of Undertale, folks. Next time, the real game begins. Heck yeah.